Hi everyone, Mitch from Able Cine here at the Airy Booth NAB 2012. We're with Heinrich Voss, who is the product manager for camera and wireless systems. Heinrich, what do we have new in the world of Alexa? Well, Mitch, we have the Alexa Plus 4x3 here. It's another model in the family of Alexa cameras. And um, it's like an Alexa Plus, but it's using a full 4x3 sensor area of the uh, camera. So you, it's perfect for anamorphic shots, of course. So what we're looking at is sort of a companion camera to the studio. Exactly. It's a companion camera to the studio. It also includes all the licenses which the studio camera includes. Like, of course, the anamorphic D-squeeze license and the high-speed license and the DNX HD license are already included by default into the camera. So really the only difference is that this is fully electronic viewfinder system as opposed to the spinning mirror optical viewfinder system. Otherwise, you have everything that the studio has. Yes, that's it. It's exactly that. And now we have three cameras who have the 4x3 sensor. The studio, which is like our Battleship Galactica, everything included, top of the line product. Then the Alexa Plus 4x3 and of course the Alexa M, our specialist for special shots. Okay, so we heard it here first. It's the Battlestar Galactica <laughs> camera. Got it. Uh, the, uh, the, and the Alexa Plus, the uh, 4x3, that is going to be available when and kind of price range what? Well, it's priced somehow between the standard Alexa Plus and the Alexa Studio, a bit closer to the Alexa Plus than to the Studio. And available when? Available in May. Oh, so right away. Yeah. Great. Well, let's go see what else we have available. So, I'm looking here at the uh, studio and uh, wondering a couple of interesting new items on here. Can you tell us about? Of course. You see a blue lens here. Guess why it's this blue? Um, it's a concept anamorphic lens. Um, it's on the plus, of course, in, uh, on the studio, of course, in the 4x3 sensor mode. And um, that's a lens we developed with Zeiss, Carl Zeiss. It's a concept lens. Um, we want to show here the quality of the lens and the characteristic of the lens. We are planning a set of such lenses. Uh, we will announce more um, at IBC this year. But this is like a teaser to show you what's, what we are planning, what's possible. We are very happy to, uh, to get your, your feedback on this and show you. So, so we see a brand new set of anamorphic lenses coming on the horizon. And I guess blue because we always love the classic blue flare, blue streak that these lenses give. Exactly. And this is not a lens that exists for sale. It's like a, yeah, like a concept lens in Germany, we call it the Erlkönig. That's when they have a new car and they want to test it on the road. They stick funny things on it. We do the same thing here. It might look differently uh, eventually, but uh, it gives you an idea of the quality and characteristic of the lens. Terrific. And then what is this interesting box with the antennas on it here? Uh, well, that is our WNA1 um, prototype um, wireless transmitter. Um, it's kind of part of our open camera access initiative, uh, which we have already um, announced a while ago. Um, we are um, offering an SDK, an iOS SDK for the Alexa. So developers um, can develop apps to control and access the camera, which is very interesting. And it's still in a beta phase, but we are having here on our booth some manufacturers who already have done some apps. Um, and we expect to be ready with that SDK by end of the year, by IBC of this year. Um, and you can expect um, uh, plenty of very interesting apps uh, and uh, programs to control the Alexa and open a whole new world of applications. So basically, this will allow developers to create programs for, say, an iPad uh, that you'd be able to fully control and integrate with the camera. From remotely. Yes, well, the WNA1 is just the access point to access the camera wirelessly or through a wireless LAN. Yeah? Um, there are also other companies with their own um, wireless transmitters, um, but the SDK, yes, allows people to program their apps and control the camera. For example, start stop the camera or change something in the camera or enter metadata into the camera or receive the metadata and view it on an iPad, for example. Right, so this could be not just a camera controller, but also, say, script supervisor could be getting information from the camera at the same time and video playback people. So you can really integrate it into the systems, however, uh, what a de developer might choose to do for whatever type of crew and production. 
Yeah, you can imagine many, many different things. You could imagine that the script people can see the metadata they need to see. Somebody else can see different metadata he needs to see. Somebody else might have access um, on a different level and control some camera parameters. So there are many, many ways um, to, to do uh, nice things with uh, such apps. Fascinating. Well, it really expands the world of the cameras and the use and integrating into systems. It's always been that you've had separate uh, little fiefdoms, little areas that, you know, this department and that department, and it was always hard to get them to talk to each other, and they needed to work together. And this is just a way that you can make it so that the camera's comfortable for everyone in production. That's terrific. And uh, thank you very much, Heinrich. We're going to be talking to you more soon from other spots here at NAB 2012.